Hey YouTube, it's GB Lung Guy. Today we're going to make liposomal encapsulated vitamin C. And why we're we making liposomal encapsulated vitamin C? We're making it because it's at least as good or slightly better than IV vitamin C, which I've been working on trying to get for a couple months now. So this is part one of the process. I'm going to start with the beginning of the process and then we're going to stop the camera and come back there for three or four hours. Um, what you're going to need is an ultrasonic cleaner machine. I got this little one here on Amazon, I think for about 30 bucks. That's what it looks like. You're going to need some distilled water. You're going to need some vitamin C powder. Ascorbic acid, I got the 5,000 milligram version, and also some lecithin. Now I got sunflower, non-GMO lecithin powder. I went with sunflower because the most popular choice is soy lecithin. I try to avoid soy. I mean, you can't avoid it completely, but I try to avoid it. So when I can, and there's an alternative, I'm going to choose it. So I got this also online. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to mix one cup of water in the blender with three level tablespoons of the lecithin. All right? Now, I just did that by getting my level table tablespoons, three of those, putting them in the blender along with a cup of water, and I blended it for one minute. And after that, I put it into a mason jar, which is what we've got right here. So now I can stir it up throughout the next three or four hours. And uh, the reason that I decided to make this and use it is because the, uh, the vitamin C treatment, um, uh, allegedly the high dose vitamin C treatment delivers the ascorbic acid to your cell level and at some point during the process the vitamin C creates an extra it creates hydrogen peroxide at the at the actual cell level and I believe it does this by adding an extra oxygen molecule to the fluid that is in your system so uh, high dose vitamin C has quite a reputation online um, it also gets quite a bit of opposition from the uh, typical folks that oppose alternative treatments. But this is the process, this is what we're going to go through and then we're going to try and take maybe 30 to 40 grams a day somehow, we'll see. I brought the, this one out, vitamin C, regular 1000 milligram vitamin C. When you take one of these orally, your body absorbs about 200 milligrams of actual vitamin C. With IV, when you take injectable IV, vitamin C, for every thousand milligrams you take in that way, you absorb about 700 milligrams of vitamin C, so that's much better. When you do liposomal vitamin C, and you take that basically orally, it goes through your digestive system. When you do that, you, your body absorbs right around 800 milligrams of vitamin C. So even slightly better than the IV vitamin C. And the reason it does that is because the, the liposome in the lecithin, the liposome actually encapsulates, it's an oily that thing that kind of encapsulates the vitamin C so that as it passes through your digestive system, it doesn't get consumed in the process. It actually passes through uh, into the bloodstream and into your system where you receive the benefit most directly. So it's a much, much better way of t taking in vitamin C and getting a much more effective dose out of the amount you are taking. And plus, if you take a lot of the um, vitamin C through your stomach, it ends up giving you diarrhea because apparently the vitamin C 
uh, it holds water and it remains in your gut somehow. Whereas the liposomal encapsulated vitamin C goes through and into your into your blood where you need the effectiveness of the vitamin C. So we're gonna come back in we're gonna come back in three hours, maybe a little over, and show you part two, which is where we're gonna add the vitamin C powder to the distilled water. And then we're gonna put them both together in this machine for six to eight minutes. And at that point, we're finished. So we'll see you back here in three or four hours. Okay, we're back, and it's been about three and a half hours since we made the, the uh, GMO-free sunflower lecithin mixture in there with the distilled water. Now we're going to move on to the ascorbic acid, 500, 5,000 milligrams. We're going to put that into a half, half a cup of water. And a half a cup of water. I'll get that exact, okay. Distilled water. I'm going to go ahead and just warm that up real quick. 20 seconds, because this will dissolve a little bit quicker in warm, warm liquid. Get this plug in. Ooh, it's got a cool light. Okay, distilled water, I'm going to take one tablespoon. Ooh, that's not going to fit in there. Let's go like this. Alright, one tablespoon. Put that in there. Now that is five grams or 5,000 milligrams of vitamin C. We want to stir that around so it's all dissolved. Get that out of there. Okay, we're going to finish off with a close-up view now. Open up the little chamber. So here goes the lecithin. Pour that in. Okay. Get all that out of there. And let's see the ascorbic acid. Still a little bit. Okay, so we got the ingredients in there. I'm going to use a little plastic stir. What we're going to do is close this, turn it on, and we're going to go ahead and watch the clock for six to eight minutes. I'm going to turn off the video and bring it back on at the end of this time. Okay, that's getting close. I decided to stir this with a wooden stick because I don't want to have any plastic. Okay, there's our timer. That looks like about seven minutes. And so we are going to turn it off. And let me see if I get something to pour that into. See what we got out of here. There we go. 
Mm-hmm. What have I got there? Two, almost two cups. It's like about one and two thirds cups, which is about probably about 14 ounces. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that is 5,000 milligrams of vitamin C now encapsulated. So this would be a uh, divided up into five portions. This would be 1,000 milligrams a piece with an absorption rate of about 800 milligrams per thousand consumed. So there it is. Now this needs to be refrigerated because it will go bad if it doesn't get in the refrigerator. And it, even in the refrigerator, I think that the shelf life on it is about three days. So it needs to be consumed within about three days. I'm just going to go ahead and store it right back in this container here and keep it in the refrigerator. And that's how we'll use it. So there you go. Pretty easy. Very inexpensive, very easy. All right. Well, thanks for watching. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe so you can keep up with my other upcoming videos.